Habakkuk, Habakkuk 1. The burden which Habakkuk, the prophet, did see. O Yahweh, how long shall I cry, and you will not hear? Even cry out unto you of violence, and you will not save. Why do you show me iniquity, and cause me to behold grievance? For spoiling and violence are before me, and there are that raise up strife and contention. Therefore the Torah is slacked, and judgment never goes forth, for the wicked compasses about eth the righteous. Therefore wrong judgment proceeds. Behold, ye among the heathen, and regard and wonder marvelously. For I will work a work in your days, which ye will not believe, though it be told you. For lo, I raise up at the Kazdim, that bitter and hasty nation, which shall march through the breadth of the land to possess the dwelling places that are not theirs. They are terrible and dreadful. Their judgment and their dignity shall proceed of themselves. Their horses also are swifter than the leopards and are more fierce than the evening wolves. And their horsemen shall spread themselves and their horsemen shall come from far. They shall fly as the eagle that hastens to eat. They shall come all for violence. Their faces shall sup up as the east wind. And they shall gather the captivity as the sand. And they shall scoff at the kings, and the princes shall be as a scorn unto them. They shall deride every stronghold, for they shall heap dust and take it. Then shall his mind change, and he shall pass over and offend, imputing this his power unto his Eloah. Are you not from everlasting? O Yahweh Elohai, my Holy One, we shall not die. O Yahweh, you have ordained them for judgment. And, O mighty Elohim, you have established them for correction. You are of purer eyes than to behold evil and cannot look on iniquity. Wherefore, Look you upon them that deal treacherously, and hold your tongue when the wicked devours the man that is more righteous than he, and make men as the fish of the sea, as the creeping things that have no ruler over them. They take up all of them with the angle. They catch them in their net, and gather them in their drag. Therefore they rejoice and are glad. Therefore they sacrifice unto their net and burn incense unto their drag, because by them their portion is fat and their meat plenteous. Shall they therefore empty their net and not spare continually to slay the nations?